Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is more vision for young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Bible Study. This is Bible Study episode 59. Today we're going to be diving into Acts chapter 3, verses 12 through 26. We're going to be talking about Peter preaching in the temple. To begin, we're going to start off with a prayer. Guys, can please bow your heads, close your eyes for an opening prayer. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father and God, this morning we want to give you praise and thanks for being here. We thank you, dear God, because for this opportunity we have to get into your word. Father, we know there's no private interpretation to your word. And so this morning we ask for your Holy Spirit to come and be in us, be with us, and guide us and teach us this morning. I pray, oh God, even as we discuss this out of this God, our souls will be refreshed, revived, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for that prayer. Now we get into the word for today. We'll be reading from the NLT version. Verses 12 says, Peter saw his opportunity and addressed the crowd. People of Israel, he said, what is it so surprising about this? And why stare at us as though we had made this man walk by our own power or godliness? For it is the power, for it is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of all our ancestors who had brought glory to his servant Jesus by doing this. This is the same Jesus whom you hand over and rejected before a player. This why planned decision to release him. You rejected his glory, righteous one, and instead demanded the relief of a murderer. You killed the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. And we witness this of fact. And we are witness of this fact. Through the faith in the name of Jesus, the man is healed. And you know how crippled he was before. And the faith of Jesus' name healed before our before your very eyes. Okay. Um, if I'm going to 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 just give it a shot, not so sure what aspect of it you're looking at. But um, I like the way Peter started his message because that was just after he had um, performed a very spectacular miracle. And um, one of the things is that right away, he did not give any glory to himself from the very beginning. As soon as he starts to speak, he right away allowed the people to know this is not about me. This is about Christ. And I think that is a very notable lesson for us that as Christians, we should be able to, whatever we do, whatever we, whatever, you know, um, whatever we gain, um, whatever recognition we, um, we would have acquired, right away we should be able to let the world know this is not about me. This is about Jesus Christ, because outside of him, none of this is possible. Definitely. Amen. I also pointed on that point. Um, as we went early uh, uh, into John last year and finding out how everything um, occurred from when Jesus was handed over to Plano and then Plano released him and uh, all of and all of that, um, even though it was bad that the people turned them back against Jesus, all of this was planned, all of this was a product of the process. And since now the process is over, the people are able to come back to Jesus through his sacrifice of dying on the cross. And the man is healed before their eyes. And this is not the only time they have seen this. It's many other occasions that they have seen healing happen, whether it's from the hands of Jesus or his disciples. I'll be moving on to the following scriptures. Verse 17 says, friends, I realize that what you and your leader did to Jesus was done in ignorance. But God was fulfilling what all the prophets had foresee about the Messiah, that he must suffer these things. Now repent your sin and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped, may be wiped away. Then times of refreshment will come from the presence of the Lord, and he will send you, Jesus, your appointed Messiah. For he must remain in heaven until the time for his final restoration of all things, as God promised long ago through his holy all right. Um, once again, I, I want to go to the application aspect of it. 
Um, again, Paul, uh, again, Peter is, is letting us know when he said, um, and he began to say, well, okay, what you did, you did it in ignorance, but God was actually accomplishing his will and purpose. Um, once again, I want to apply that to us, that a lot of times things happen in our lives. Um, we encounter circumstances, situations, trials, difficulties, and um, sometimes we take it for granted that, you know, those situations, they just happen. But a lot of times, nothing that happens in our life yeah. is outside or amidst or is that God doesn't know. God knows everything and God sees everything and God allows some things. And whatever he allows, he is going to, it reminds us of what Paul says, all things work together for our good, all right? All things work together for our good. And so in applying that scripture, that aspect of it is what I want us to get, that everything in our lives, God sees, God knows, God allows, and God is going to use it for our good, whether it is good or bad, because even out of evil, God can bring good. Amen, amen, amen. Everything that happens in our life is for is for a purpose. This was all planned way right before we were conceived, way right before we were in our mother's womb. It was all planned and will all be used for the glory of God. Amen of that. And I also want to point out in verses 19, which says, now repent your sin and turn to God so your sins may be wiped away. And even after everything occurred, there's still chances and countless chances for them to turn their life over, to be able to repent this, be able to repent for their sins before the Messiah come back. Because once he come back that final time, um, there's no more chances to repent because once he come, it's collect his People now we moved into 22 um, to 26, the last verse of today. Verse 22 says, Moses said, The Lord your God will rise up for you, a prophet like me from among your own people. Listen carefully to everything he tells you. Then Moses said, Anyone who will not listen to the prophet will be completely cut off from God's people. Starting with Samuel, every prophet spoke about what is happening today. You are the children of those prophets, and you are included in the covenant God promised to your ancestors. For God said to Abraham, through your descendants, all families on this earth will be blessed. When God raised up servant Jesus, he sent him first to you people of Israel to bless you by turning each of you back from your sinful ways. And in these following verses, there's still a continuing of um, the chances to be able to like repent and also with everything um, coming about with being planned from before, with the Messiah being sent for the people to be able to turn from the wicked way for um, the ancestors of the descent, the descendants of the ancestors will be blessed. It's a continuing of the promises and the fulfillment of the scriptures and the word and the promises that were made. We're going into our end in prayer right now and we'll close for the day. If you guys can, please bow your heads, close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We worship you, God. We thank you for this day that you've made. I rejoice in you, God. Our prayers now as we went through your word for today, God. We pray that our understanding, our interpretation was able to give us a better understanding of today's word, God. I pray that we'll always remember to give you credit for the work that you have done, God, and not give ourselves credit, God. And also remember that everything in life, whether good or bad, happens for a reason, God, and always will be used for the glory of your name, God. I just pray that you continue to be with everybody in this upcoming week, God. I pray for guidance and protection over your people, God. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. This was the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for coming in another episode of Bible Study. This was Bible Study episode 59 that we went through Acts chapter 3, verses 12 to 26. If you have for the video, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Please turn on your post notification. That way, anytime I upload a video, YouTube will send your notification. This is Motivation for Young Christian. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>